Okay, so to be honest, when I was checking out that new sample library by Fracture Sounds, I was a little bit skeptical. So let's take a look at their website and see what is going on with Box Factory. Okay, so Box Factory. Box Factory is a unique cinematic percussion library. I like that. Geared towards professional composers and producers alike, featuring a huge 40 piece, and now here it comes, ensemble of cardboard boxes masterfully sampled in a concert hall. So when you think cardboard boxes, you usually think about something to store stuff in or eventually use it to move to another place. And if you use it musically, you probably would use it as a little additional gimmick or something. But boy, was I wrong. So before we hop into Studio One, let's read on a little bit. About the instrument, we assembled six performers and 40 boxes of different shapes and sizes in a concert hall and curated 13 unique ensembles ranging from large to small boxes with a range of stick types and performance techniques. So of course you're curious how this thing sounds. You can go through the website by yourself. You have some really cool audio demos. You have a little bit more information on the sound, the interface, the rhythm engine and all that stuff. But now let's check out how Box Factory sounds and let me show you a little trick on how to use it in combination with other percussion sample libraries. Okay, so as you can see here inside Box Factory, you have four main instrument patches, natural, aggressive, gritty and snappy. You have design drums, you have one shots, boom, and hits and one shots bushes and risers. So what I did here is loading the main instruments aggressive. I don't want to go through all of the patches. Let's check out how the aggressive patch sounds like. So this is what I was talking about in the beginning. If somebody would have told me that these are cardboard boxes, I probably wouldn't believe that person. Or in the other way around, would I have been skeptical at all if nobody would have told me that these are cardboard boxes? So let's get into a little loop that I've created with this sample library. And uh, again, if you want to get into the full details of how all these different mic settings sound like, the punch, uh, saturation, squash and everything, Will Bedford did some two excellent videos on the website, so make sure to check that out. And now let me play you that little loop that I've created here. So I didn't use more than just four instruments. I've used these low hits here. Then I've used this patch and this one and it sounds like this. Also there is no processing going on besides a little bit of limiter to not, you know, clip the master bus. So I mean to be really honest, I'm not the compare guy, but this is definitely by far one of the most punchy and most aggressive sounding percussion sample libraries that I've ever heard. And even better, I mean, it's not really a percussion library, but sometimes you want to chime in sounds that sound percussive, but don't remind the listener of, for example, a taiko or a tom, some natural percussions. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I want to show you a little trick, which is actually not really a trick, but how you can spice up your existing percussion sample libraries with Box Factory. So let me play you that loop here that I created with the damage 2. It's basically the same thing here and let's listen to this. Okay, some cool natural sounding drums, but now let's spice that up with Box Factory.
So of course I'm not saying that this is the exact only way on how to spice up drums, but I think Box Factory is pretty cool because it's unnatural percussions, you know, because it's not percussions. And to be honest, the punch of that library is absolutely amazing and therefore I think it's really perfect to spice up your percussion ensembles or simply add the punch you've been missing so far. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you're hungry for more. Make sure to check out this little gem here. And as always, thank you so much for checking out this video and see you on my next one. Bye.